every time I open up Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and any time I, I read news from places that are somewhat honest, we hear about people that are collapsing on stage, that are rappers collapsing on stage. They're 35 years old, or they're even younger than that. We've got young athletes collapsing. And for me, it's like, wow, you know, those stories probably happened before, but boy, there seems to be something very weird happening with otherwise young, healthy people who are dying, collapsing, having real complications. Are you concerned about what we're going to see in the next several years and when they will finally maybe be honest about it, if they ever will? Most vaccine complications you see in the first few weeks and they don't crop up later. I think the public deserves a good study to just describe the incidence of complications, like Germany did, one in 5,000. If you want to get the vaccine and you understand those risks and you don't have the antibodies in your system and you're you know, someone who's susceptible, that's your choice, you and your doctor. But we don't have any numbers, so we're but flying why? blind. So, I want to know this. Is Germany not as beholden to big pharma as we are in the United States? Yeah, Does I that have so. something to do with it? Maybe. Because it's very weird. I mean, people don't want to have any discussion about it in the United States, yet Germany is doing it. You wouldn't think that they would be spearheading. you think the United States would. Pharma has a hammer lock on the U.S. health agencies. I mean, a complete tight grip. And they do very little without pharma basically guiding and steering.